inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. All right now, guess what time it is? It's time to have a tad bit mm, of tension in this podcast. And you want to know why? Because I'm just a little bit annoyed. I'm sorry, but you guys know how I am. I have to be real. I have to be me. I feel like this is the perfect time to have this conversation because it is the holiday and I don't know what a lot of you guys are going to be doing, but unfortunately, several of you don't know what to do. And and why am I saying this? And what do I mean? Well, I have this online academy, right? Called Real Talk for Business Mastery Academy. And one of my lovely members came in the other day and was like, yes, we love you so much because she got a notification for some group that a relative of hers put her in. And the group leader was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to be gone until January 5th. So you guys just take the last two weeks off and that's the end. Bye. And she was like, oh my God, you know, the renegades, that's what we're called. We're over here like busting our ass at the end of the year. And it just completely threw her off why this woman would say that. And I want to talk about this, right? Because you hear mixed conversation about whether or not you should be busting your ass or rewarding yourself for all of your hard work. And I'm going to be real with you ladies. It's going to get ugly. This conversation is going to get ugly if you are truly not a business beast. And I want you all to just do me a favor, right? Listen to the entire episode and get it in, get it in its entirety before you pass any judgment. First of all, let's get our minds eye wrapped around who I am working with. I am working with business owners who have just started. So we're doing seed and development or entrepreneurs who've been in business for a while with minimal to no traction and have desired to make more money in their business. They have visibility issues. They are not really seen that well on different platforms. They're really working hard to drum up their clientele. And if that's you, then you really need to listen to this. Businesses are not built on prayer and magic. Yes, I said that. This has nothing to do with me challenging your faith, but you can sit down all day long and pray for something. But if you don't do something, you are not going to get results. And what I have found with working with a lot of women or more so observing because these kind of women don't really come and work with me is that women are the ones who get 
overloaded with this self care bullshit and it's getting taken completely out of context. It has become a million dollar maker for a lot of people. And what a lot of women don't understand is that you are throwing your business down the drain because it's always about you needing to get some sleep. It's always about you needing to take a break. And it's always about you not being so overly absorbed with your business that you can't have time for life. You know what? If you got a nice little business and you want to make you a couple of hundred bucks here and there, that's the kind of attitude that's perfectly normal. However, if you're like myself or some of the business beasts that I work with and you have a vision to have a multi six figure or multi seven figure business, then what you don't get to do is start off a business and then bitch the entire time about having to work too much. There is a grind out here. See the beautiful thing about the internet is it gives us access to almost everyone. The not so beautiful thing about the internet is that Everybody has access to everyone and it's a dog eat dog out. It's a dog eat dog world out there. And there are a lot of individuals who have the money where they can pay to play. There are a lot of individuals that before they even started their own business, they were create, they were connected. They were connected to the right types of people so that they could have the right kind of clientele. But let's look at you in your picture. Nine times out of 10, if you're listening to this podcast, you're a woman that's in her upper to middle third, you're in your middle to upper thirties, possibly mid mid forties. A few of you may be a little older than that. You've already lived life. You've already been bamboozled. You've already ruined your credit or you're holding on to good credit, but that means you're living from check to check to pay your bills. You've already realized that doing what you did before was not as fulfilling and nine times out of 10, the vast majority of you didn't even have the epiphany that you should change and do anything until you started approaching 40 or turn 40. And you're like, I cannot live the rest of my life this way. And all of a sudden you get an epiphany that you should start a business, but you've been living in a world that's been safe for so long, safe as far as knowing exactly what's going to come to you every single day, what you, what your tasks are, what your check is going to be like next week or the week after that. And that's not what entrepreneurship looks like. Entrepreneurship looks like uncertainty. Entrepreneurship looks like, oh my God, I realized that my self-esteem isn't shit because every time someone doesn't take one of my offers, I feel like crap. It is one of the biggest muscles that you will ever develop. And until you are at the top, of people's hearts and minds, you've got to get out there and you've got to do the work. And one thing that I don't do is I do not coach all people the same. If you're an individual who has not solidified their business and you're trying to grow, the last thing that you should think about doing is taking a break when the holiday arrives. Are you a consumer or are you a producer? Are you the one who's supposed to be making the money or spending the money at the closing of the year? When people throw money down the drain, all for the sake of a holiday, that is when you should be doing the most. That is when you should be like, Hey, I got this offer. I got that offer because you should be capitalizing on it. Why do you have to make a holiday that everybody else makes their holiday yours? Why don't you take your holiday the first week of February or the third week of March or the second week of April. Why do you have to say, oh, well, everybody else is, you know, taking a break because it's Christmas. That's what the nine to fivers do. That's what the traditional people do. And what a lot of you don't understand is that you're going to miss out on a lot of money if you have the kind of mentality that this coach said. Now, if you're the kind of person who has your business established and you could walk away from it, and say, you know what? I think I just want to go on a vacation. All of your systems are automated. You have an excellent team working on your behalf and that cash flow is going to continue to go on your bank account. Then that's a completely different story. But once again, the vast majority of you listening to this podcast, that is not you. And you are in a development stage. And what you cannot do is disappear before people have fell so hopelessly in love with you that they cannot get you out of their mind. Because the moment that you step away, they will move on to the next bigger, better, or just available thing, even if it isn't better. So my question for you is, how have you been prioritizing your time? What has your schedule looked like coming into this holiday season? 
Did you already have an idea, but you said, no, I'm not going to do it. You have to understand something as a business owner, you need to already have your arsenal ready and that trigger ready to pull prior to the holiday even coming. If you don't have anything right now and you're a newbie, the time that it takes to warm your market up and to connect with them, you're not going to get that. You guys should have been prepping and coming in. You should have been coming into this quarter already ready to aim and fire. How many of those Christmas dollars are you going to get? How much of that money is going to be laying in your bank account? How many people are you going to add to your list to develop relationships with, to sell more products to going later on? And I'm going to be honest with you, ladies. See, men, they don't do this. Men are like, they're just bottom line. They're black and white. What's the balance? What do I need? What do I got to pay for? How do I take care of it? We, on the other hand, are like, oh, but I've just been working so hard. And here's my thing. If you weren't running your business, how hard would you be working? Yeah, I'm calling you out. A lot of you are not even working hard. What you're doing is thinking hard. You spend more time sitting around thinking like, oh, well, if I just knew how to do this and if I just knew how to do that and then you finally decide to Google something or you finally look at a, a YouTube video or you opt in for a freebie and you keep studying information, you aren't even doing anything. You could step out there on faith and go ahead and put an offer out there, but you're too concerned about your graphics or your website or whatever it is. And you're not even positioning yourself to make any money, which is absolutely catastrophic. It is asinine, but God forbid all of this rest and relaxation that you need. Now that you're an entrepreneur, you didn't get it when you were working, when you were working for the man. You were working your job and all of a sudden they said that there was mandatory overtime and it pissed you off, but you found someone else to pick up your kids. You found a way to manipulate it and make it work. You went ahead and started putting food into that crock pot. But for some reason, once you became an entrepreneur, it's like, well, you know, I just have to rest and I'm not going to go so crazy that the only thing that I'm doing is that I'm working this business and I'm not doing anything and I'm not taking care of myself. Listen to me. When you were working for that company you weren't taking care of yourself because you were going through systems and processes you were just the cog in someone else's system you weren't the catalyst you weren't making the change you were just doing something day by day how many of you actually know that by walking in your purpose that is a form of self-care because there's something inside of you that gets reinvigorated Every time I do a podcast episode, no matter how fatigued I may feel, especially if I got behind schedule, I feel like I'm on top of the stars once I'm finished. When I could be having a bad day, as a matter of fact, the same day that I'm recording this podcast, I had a one-to-one -one session with someone scheduled and I woke up feeling like crap. I must've ate something with too much salt in it because I have one of those crazy headaches that I only get if that's the case. And I was like, but I gotta get through this session because I hate to reschedule to each his own, but I just don't reschedule on my clients. I don't like it when they reschedule on me because my, my schedule is important. But by the time I got through with that session, oh my God, I felt so wonderful and I got the biggest report from them about their sales and it was just amazing. So I'm reinvigorated every time I walk in my purpose. That's what refuels my spirit. It gives me a desire to live as opposed to spending an entire day or eight hours plus going through mundane tasks and sitting through traffic. And a lot of you forgot that you got four hours back because you used to lose about two hours going to work and from work, dropping your kids off at daycare. At the end of the day, it's all about perspective. No, I'm not anti, don't take care of yourself. I just laid down with my husband the other day and we took about a three hour nap. You know why? Because we just wanted to lay down up under each other. And then we got up and was like, ooh, you know, that felt good. That's self-care too. So ladies, my question is, are you really exercising self-care or are you being lazy? Are you somewhat being a bit of a millennial type entitlement type of individual where you're expecting something to happen and not understanding that real business happens because you make it happen. Get out there and work. You either run a business or you don't. You cannot have CEO mentality and then behave like an employee. 
So I know I may have been a little bit more edgy or preachier in my tone today, but that's just because I want you guys to get it, ladies. The name of this podcast is Real Women Don't Bitch, They Get Shit Done. And you can't get shit done sitting around crying all the time, talking about how you need a break. You get a break once you deserve a break. The people with the best biceps and abs, they don't say I'm going to stop. They say I got five more in me. Five more minutes, you guys. You got five more minutes in you to push and to get that goal, to make it towards your destination. With that being said, it's always a pleasure to talk to you guys. I hope you got a really good kick in the ass, a great dose of let me get out of here and make it happen. And you know what? Even though I said what I said, some of you, you got a decent enough following. And maybe it is only going to be one person that'll buy. But you know what? You get out there for this Christmas and you make an offer. You go ahead and ask for that strategy session. You sell that shirt or you, you offer to make those cakes or pies. Do something. And see the power of um, when you actually are moving forward. The power of manifestation comes from the thought and the action. All right. So embody what you want. That's where I'm at. You guys have a great day. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is... Real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendontbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list, hit me up, and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in